In this video, we will show how to disassemble an APP53286 pump. This is the toolkit to be used when disassembling the APP53286 pump. We are using European metric standard for the tools. Beginning at the pump end, remove four M8 by 30 socket head cap screws, equally spaced as shown. Install the long M8 by 140 hex head support bolt at top position. Be sure to lubricate threads with PTFE prior to installation. Install the three shorter M8 by 60 hex head support bolts with nuts. Again, be sure to lubricate threads with PTFE prior to installation. Adjust nuts on three hex head bolts by hand until nuts are tight against the pump end flange. Remove the remaining socket head cap screws. Loosen the three nuts on three hex head support bolts using an open end wrench and alternating pattern. This will release the retainer ball spring tension. Once the pump end flange is loose, remove three hex head support bolts with nuts. Loosen the top hex head support bolt while supporting the end flange and remove both using the long support bolt as a handling tool. Remove the guide pin. Remove the two bleed plugs and the pump end flange. Remove the two socket head cap screws that bolt the swash plate to the pump end flange. Remove the swash plate from the pump end flange. Remove the two locating pins. Remove the two O-rings from cap screw holes and large O-ring from pump end flange groove. Remove the two O-rings from the two bleed plugs. Carefully remove one piston from the pump end barrel assembly. Check the sliding face on piston shoe for damage. Carefully remove the remaining pistons and check them as well. Remove the retainer plate. Remove the retainer ball. Remove the spring guide assembly. Use a wood beam as backstop. Using a 24 mm open end wrench and hammer, remove the M16 by 70 hex head cone bushing bolt. Place the extractor sleeve special tool over the cone bushing. Lubricate the threads with PTFE and mount M20 nut onto M20 socket head cap screw. Lubricate the threads on socket head cap screw with PTFE 
Insert the socket head cap screw through extractor sleeve and thread it into cone bushing. Turn the nut clockwise and tighten to loosen cone bushing from the shaft end. Remove the socket head cap screw and special extractor sleeve. Reinstall original M16 hex head cone bushing bolt and tighten by hand. Move to the motor end of the pump and remove drive coupling hub from shaft. Remove the key from the shaft. Remove the four socket head cap screws that mount the shaft seal cover to the motor end flange. If the cover sticks, the two M6 threads can be used to extract the cover. Remove the shaft seal cover with the stationary part of the shaft seal. Remove the O-ring on the shaft seal cover. Using a small screwdriver, remove the stationary part of the shaft seal from the shaft seal cover. Remove the four M8 by 30 socket head cap screws from the motor end flange, equally spaced as shown. Install the long MX by 140 hex head support bolt at top position. Be sure to lubricate threads with PTFE prior to installation. Install the three shorter MX by 60 hex head support bolts with nuts. Again, be sure to lubricate threads with PTFE prior to installation. Adjust nuts on three hex head bolts by hand until nuts are tight against the motor end flange. Remove the remaining socket head cap screws except from three. Remove the three remaining cap screws equally spaced. Loosen the nuts on three hex head support bolts using an open end wrench and alternating removal pattern. This will release the retainer ball spring tension. Once the pump end flange is loose, remove three hex head support bolts with nuts. Loosen the top hex head support bolt while supporting the end flange and remove both using the long support bolt as a handling tool. Remove the guide pin from the housing. Remove the two socket head cap screws that bolt the swash plate to the motor end flange. Remove the swash plate from the pump end flange. Remove the two locating pins. Remove the O-ring in the motor end flange groove. Remove the two O-rings from cap screw holes. Carefully remove the rotating portion of shaft seal. It is important when removing this that no damage is done to the shaft. Shaft damage can result in shaft seal leakage. Remove the shaft seal spacer. Carefully remove one piston from the motor end barrel assembly. Check the sliding face on piston shoe for damage. Carefully remove the remaining pistons and check them as well.
Remove the retainer plate. Remove the retainer ball. Remove the spring guide assembly. Install the three special M6 by 150 socket head cap screws through barrel into valve plate. This will keep the internal springs between the barrel and valve plate in place. Return to the pump end. Remove the hand tight M16 bolt from the cone bushing. If cone bushing cannot be removed by hand, reinstall the extractor sleeve. Install the M20 socket head cap screw with nut. Turn the nut clockwise and tighten to further loosen the cone bushing. Remove the extractor with the cone bushing. Install the two M6 by 65 socket head cap screws on outer ring of the pump end barrel. This will allow easier handling of the pump end barrel when removing. Carefully remove the barrel while being careful not to damage the main bearing in the housing. While supporting the motor side barrel, remove the pump end port plate. Check the slide face of the port plate for wear and or damage. Remove the two guide pins and the distance pipe which is used to keep both barrel assemblies timed and out of phase. Return to motor end and carefully remove the motor end barrel shaft assembly, port plate and the two port plate guide pins. The assembled shaft makes this barrel slightly heavier than the pump end barrel, but the shaft also makes it easier to handle. Again, be careful not to damage the main bearing in the housing. Check the sliding face on the port plate for wear and or damage. Remove the four bleed plugs. Two are located on the top and two are located at the bottom. Remove the lifting eye. Remove the flushing valve cover using the torque wrench or ratchet and the special tool. Remove the O-ring on the flushing valve cone. Remove the flushing valve cone and spring. Remove the O-ring on the flushing valve cover. Remove all of the hex head bolts from center flange. Carefully remove the pump housing and the motor end housing. Take notice of the housing guide pins if you are planning to reuse. Remove the two O-rings from center flange on each side. Beginning with the pump end barrel, we will now focus on removing the valve plate from the pump end barrel. Carefully insert one or two screwdrivers between valve plate and barrel. Carefully pry and remove valve plate, trying not to damage either part. Remove the locating pin from the distance pipe. Remove the O-rings and backup rings from valve plate. Moving on to the motor and barrel valve plate removal. Install the first special tool washer. Install the distance pipe. Install the second special tool washer. Install the extractor sleeve. Install the M16 by 70 stud with M16 nut and thread into the shaft end. Be sure to lubricate the threads with PTFE. Tighten the nut towards extractor sleeve with open end wrench. Remove the three special M6 by 150 locator socket head cap screws from the other side of the barrel. Loosen the M16 nut and remove the extractor sleeve, distance pipe, and washers. This will release the compression spring tension between the barrel and valve plate. Remove the valve plate from the motor and barrel. Remove the nine compression springs. 
Remove the locating pin for distance pipe. Remove the O-rings and backup rings from the valve plate. The pump has now been fully disassembled.